Hi everyone. Today we are going to be solving a beam problem. We are going to be solving the stress, the bending stress in a simply supported beam with two point loads. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to solve for the reaction in this beam so that that will help you solve for your moment. Because for the moment, uh, for the bending moment, you need to know your maximum moment in order to solve the, for the bending stress. Uh, just to start with, just remember the formula for the bending stress is sigma equals to the moment multiplied by the centroid divided by the moment of inertia. So we are looking for all the parameters in this equation in order for us to solve for the maximum bending stress in this moment. So like I said, you need to solve for the reactions first. Uh, you could use the long method, which is solving for the reactions by taking a moment about one of the support, support A, B. But you don't really have to do that in this problem because it's very straightforward. You can look at it by inspection and realize that the, the point loads are evenly uh, spaced out and they are equal. So they, they create a symmetry on the top. They are spaced out five feet apart and they are 10 keep each. So you can see it by inspection and by symmetry that the reaction at A is equal to the reaction at B, which will be 10 keep each. So the reaction at A is equal to the reaction at B, which is equal to 10 keep. So you don't have to do any calculation here. It's very straightforward. So now that is taken care of. Now to solve for a moment of a simply supported beam with two point load, and the point load are equal, and they are equally spaced apart. There's a short uh, derived formula for that, and that is M is equal to PA. So P is equal to the load, which is 10 kip, and A is equal to the distance between them, and the distance from the support of the load, which is 5 feet. Okay? So with this, you can solve your moment right away. So moment, that's the maximum moment, is going to be P, which is 10, multiplied by 5 feet. 5 feet, 10 kips. So that gives you 50 kip feet. Okay? Now... For the sake of your formula, um, and for the sake of your uh, unit, you realize that your bending stress has to be in either pound per square inch or keep per square inch. And so you have your moment in keep per foot, uh, keep foot. So you have to transform that keep foot unit to keep inch. So you multiply this 50 keep foot by 12 inches to arrive at uh, Keep inch that gives you 600. Keep inch okay, so you are done with your moment, that's your maximum moment for this beam. So now you go to the cross section of the beam in order to find the, uh, the property, the section property of this beam, so that we can move forward to solve for the bending stress. So we are given the cross section of the beam is four, four inch wide by eight by six inch. And the centroid of that rectangle is 3 inches. So our centroid is 3 inches. Okay? So that's very straightforward. It's a rectangle of 4 by 6, uh, 4, 4 inch wide and 6 inch high. So the centroid is 3 inches. The next thing is we want to calculate the moment of inertia. Our moment of inertia is given by B, H to the 3 power over 12 and you substitute the value b is 4 
h is 6 raised to the power 3 divided by 12. When you do the calculation, you have it as 72 inches to the fourth power. So you have all the parameters that you need to solve this problem. We have our maximum moment, we have the centroid, and we have the moment of inertia. So we need to substitute that into our equation. So the bending stress is equals to the maximum moment in keep inch, which is 600, keep inch, multiplied by three inch or centroid. Sometimes you need to include the unit just for you to uh, be aware of what you are doing so that you don't mix up the unit or the unit will not be a factor why you cannot arrive at the correct answer. So and then you divide that by the moment of inertia which is 72. When you do the calculation you realize you have 25 keep KSR, that's 25 keep per square inch. And that's your final answer. So this is very straightforward. Just make sure you check for your unit. Make sure you, uh, you, your moment of inertia is correct. The centroid is correct. Uh, your moment is correct. You can solve for the moment too in a different way if you follow the uh, the long method, which is solving for the reaction, solving for the shear diagram, using the shear diagram, and then the, uh, the, the moment diagram. And then with that, you can arrive at your maximum moment. If you do that, you are still going to arrive at the same 20, uh, 50 keep feet. Uh, but we have a short way of doing it, and that's what we just did with the M is equal to PA, because of the nature of this uh, beam. So this is very uh, straightforward. I hope uh, it helped. So stay tuned, we'll have more videos coming. Thank you.